Hey everyone, Sarity here and welcome to a Minecraft video. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make this spider farm. So how do you use this farm? Well, you can swing your sword or you can one-hit them with this lava dispenser here. Yeah! So we are here in a new world and just give me a second to find a spider spawner. Okay, I found a spawner but it is not a spider spawner. So I found another spawner. Is this even... It is a zombie. Okay, we have found a spider spawner and it is next to a cave spider spawner. Wow. Unfortunately, we just need the spider spawner. So we'll just break the spawner. That's in the chest. Oh, nice. So let's start by clearing a 9 by 9 by 5 space around the spawner. And this is how tall the spawner should be. Also, while clearing up some space, I saw diamonds. And it's a six vein. And of course, you need to light up the area because they will keep spawning if you don't. Pick a direction where you want the spiders to go and put two fences. Open them, open them up and three signs on to the fences. I mean, fence gates. Now you want to put your water on the corners. Now dig under these water blades and make a trench going to the wall and make a 2x3 tunnel at the end then put chains like so then dig up dig the roof I mean the ceiling then put slabs like so and actually these are blocks not slabs you can actually enter here and dig a room for yourself and get yourself a chest and hoppers put the hopper behind the chest and connect the hoppers up we are actually done if you don't want to do the redstone but if you if you want a one hit spider xp farm then please continue this tutorial first put a wooden button you need to put a wooden button here dispensers on the roof i mean on the ceiling i made that mistake again now clear up some space for your redstone on top of the ceiling now look at your button put a redstone torch a block redstone dust and a what you call this an observer then extend the redstone and put another observer on the other dispenser put a comparator a dropper and a hopper now we're gonna put seven repeaters just follow these steps one two three four five six seven and the last bit is two ticks all right then put a block here put an item here put an item on your dropper here and all you need to do now is put water at the back of the dispenser and on the front of the dispenser put lava now if you test this out you can see lava and water yeah now fix the hole or whatever you destroyed here you know just to make things clean and we're done now the last step is of course put out the torches let's actually make this normal there we go the spiders are coming in and let's go back to our cell now we're gonna wait for spiders to come in in our killing chamber oh yeah sometimes be careful of the skeletons because they can spawn on the spiders as you can see we have a clogging going on here be that's because we're not here so when we are in survival we can actually make the spiders climb up to the walls and you know have them where we want them i think that's the last bit of the spider let's test this out some of them will die because they took damage from the walls and there we go that's so satisfying bro wow 
Wow, 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 wow. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Now, last detail you want to do is put buttons on the floor because you don't want anything from spawning here and you don't want to light this place up because once you light this place up, the spiders will not actually, you know, attack you because it's a bit bright. They only attack you when it's dark. This redstone is actually inspired by my previous tutorial, my one hit cave spider XP farm and until to this day, it still works. So check this out if you want a one hit cave spider XP farm. Bye!